Good afternoon students. In our previous lesson, you have seen how to solve quadratic equations by factorization method. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square method. So by the end of this lesson, I expect all of you to be able to identify the steps required to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square method. And also know how to solve completely a quadratic equation of any kind by completing the square method and also be able to solve word problem questions related to quadratic equation also by completing the square method so we have a very simple quadratic equation here x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0 we are going to go through the steps required to solve this particular equation by completing the square method but before then let me explain what this complete square is um let assume we have a square here you know a square has all its sides equal let assume this is x by x figure so if this side line is x this is x also it means that this is a square so what if we want to add it to another rectangle this time around a rectangle a rectangle and this rectangle happens to be maybe, let me say, this is x and this is 2y, for example. And this gives another form of rectangle. We have two figures. We want to combine them together such that the result is other figure here. I want to explain what this completing the square method is all about. Um, I can partition this into two, right? I can divide it into two so that we have two of them here. This is x, and since I have cut it like this, uh, this is 2y divided by 2 will be y here, and another one x by y. So I want to join these two to this. How will it be? We have our first square. Remember that all sides are x. So let me take this one and attach it here because I know that they have the same dimension to the bottom, right? So let me place it here because this is x, this is also x. Then let me twist this one upside down to place it here because this dimension is x and I know that from here to here is also x. All right. Uh, remember that this will be y, right? This is y, this is y, this is x. This is x. So let me just clean it because I have break down this one and place it onto this. This will remain equal to the other rectangle to the other side. So what we mean by completing the square here is, remember, initially this was a square. But the moment we break down this rectangle and place it onto this, it is no longer a square. Why? Because you can see we have a missing portion here. You see this portion? That is the missing part that can make the whole of this to be a square. So what will be the area of this missing portion? Because we want to add it here to make it a complete square. Remember that this is y, this is also y, right? So that area will be y squared. This is y squared. So we have added y square here to make it a complete square. And remember, we are dealing with an equation. If you are dealing with an equation, whatever you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side. So I can place my y squared here, y squared, because I have added y square here to make it a complete square. I have to add y square to the other side to make it, to make the equation balance. So what is the area of this squared? Remember, area is what? B is times i. Because it is a squared, you can take one side and square that. So it will be x plus y because the length, the side length of this square is x plus y. So this is x plus y. The area will be x plus y squared. And it will be equal to, maybe this is c. Let me call it c. It will be c plus y squared, right? c plus y squared. So we want to transform this equation into this form and remember that we are solving for x 
So you can take square root of both sides in order to eliminate this power of 2. So x plus y will be equal to plus or minus the square root of c plus y squared. And finally, to find the value of x, we take y to the other side. And remember, as y crosses over, it becomes negative y plus or minus the square root of 1, c plus y squared. So this is just completing the square method in practical aspect. So let's see, can we apply the same principle here? Let me show you how to do that. Remember we have a square and a rectangle equal to another rectangle. So it will be a square plus another rectangle equal to, meaning we have to take this to the other side. So that is the first step in solving quadratic equation by completing the square method. The first step, we should take that constant term to the other side, taking off of that. So um, we have x squared minus 4 to the left hand side, minus 4x. This is equal to as negative 5 crosses over, it becomes positive 5. Second step, if the leading coefficient is not 1, because, you know, a leading coefficient, which is a, can either be 1 or any other value apart from 1, but not 0. It cannot be 0. So if we have a value here other than 1, please divide all these three times by that leading coefficient. Do that. After that, step number three is to add on both sides the square of half of the coefficient of x. The square of half of the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x here is negative 4. Divide by 2. All squared. You see that? The square of half of the coefficient of x. This is coefficient of x negative 4. Half of it whole squared. So this value, please add it here and add it to the other side. But let me simplify it first. Uh, negative 4 divided by 2 will give us negative 2. And negative 2 squared will give us 4. So it means we are adding 4 on both sides. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 5 plus 4. Let me tell you something. Or let me show you something. If I have 2 plus 5, we know that this is 7, right? No doubt. But what if I add something here? For example, this 2 plus 5, then I added 3. Is this the same thing as 7? Let's see. 2 plus 5 is 7, and 7 plus 3 is 10. And 10 is not the same thing as 7. Therefore, whatever you add to this side, you have to add it to the other side. Once you add 3 on both sides, the equation will remain the same. This is 10, this is also 10. So by adding 4 to the left-hand side, which was not there before, you have to add it to the other side to make the equation balance. So this is what we call a perfect squared quadratic expression. 1, 2, 3. Whenever you have this situation, that expression is said to be a perfect squared quadratic expression. And how can you determine whether a quadratic expression is a perfect squared or not? Come closer. The coefficient of x is negative 2. Negative 4, sorry. Once you divide it by 2, it becomes negative 2. And negative 2 squared is 4. So that value, once you realize it is the same thing as the constant term, then the expression is a perfect squared quadratic expression. So how do you factorize a quadratic expression that is perfect? Just take a single x. Then half of this is negative 2. Then square all everything here. And this is equal to this plus this is 9. Simple. Next, we don't want to see this 2 here. Therefore, we can take square root on both sides. Remember that I'm telling you the steps. So you should take note of that. So you take square root of x minus 2 whole squared. You also take square root of the right hand side, which is 9. But whenever you take square root on both sides of any equation, always attach plus or minus. Next, this power of 2 will cancel square root, leaving only x minus 2 equal to plus or minus square root of 9 is 3. Next, take this negative 2 to the other side. 
it becomes positive 2 plus or minus 3. So we have two solutions. Either x equal to 2, which is this, plus 3, or x equal to this 2, minus 3. This is why we have plus or minus. You use plus, I use minus separately. 2 plus 3 is 5. Or 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So these are the solutions to this quadratic equation solved by completing the square method 5 and negative 1. So let me give you an assignment. Lists 5 steps required for solving a quadratic equation by completing the square method. Number two, solve x squared minus 4x minus 8 equal to 0 um, by completing the square method completing the square method let me just abbreviate it so list out the five steps required to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square method then apply such steps to solve this particular equation till we meet next time bye bye